Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning about colors and how to change colors of text, objects, and different elements within our document. It's a lot more advanced, unfortunately, than doing it just in like Microsoft Word or a text editor or something you might have been familiar with. But let's dive in and start this process of understanding uh, text when it comes to printed documents uh, and document management. So we just have a single page here. If we want to create a text frame like we've done in the past, we just click up on the text tool, left click and drag, and then we can just start typing in here, or I'm just going to right click and go to sample text. We'll get some sample, let's do some sample German text. Okay, so we have some German text here, and we want to change the color of it. Let's change, let's say we want to change the background color. So we go to right click and go to properties and go down to the color tab, and we have all these different options for colors. We only have these options for colors, black, blue, cool black, cyan, green, magenta. There's not a whole lot of different options here. So if we want like a, a dark forest green, well, this is the only shade of green we have, just this green. All right, and these are solid colors. We also have a gradient option, but under the gradient, it's even less. We only have, uh, we can do a linear gradient. We can do a couple different gradients. Four colors, but I think, oh yeah, so we can actually combine some different colors for gradients. So we'll play with gradients later, but just know that gradient is an option. Although printing gradients isn't always, uh, I like that. I stay away from printing gradients personally, but there's a there's a gradient option, but still the gradients, the only colors we have to choose from are again, these. And then um, let's go back to just white for our background. If we wanna change the text color, we right click, we go to text properties, and we can go down to color and effect, and we can change the color too. So we have a drop down here, uh, but again, so we can change the actual text to green, change the actual text to like a red. Um, and then what's this? The, is this the background? This is the background of not the text frame, but of the actual t what's behind the text, which you will almost never want to change that. So how do we add more colors? To do that, we need to get into our color management. So we go to file, or no, not file. We go to edit, and then colors and fills. And this brings up the colors that we're using. So we just created this document new, and by default, it gave us all these different colors. Uh, and so we can add in another color if we want to. So we can um, come over here, and we can choose like a color like this black. We can go duplicate this black, but then we can change it. And so we can say, actually, we want this to be called, let's find a nice color first. So we'll say, give it this much cyan, this much magenta, and this much yellow. And then we'll bring this over here to like 100%. And we'll be like, okay, cool. So this color that we've created, this was the old color. And this new color is sort of like a brownish color. So we're like, mm. we can also click up, up here if we want in this little rainbow thing and get a color. So maybe we, we want this dark forest green color we, that we were wanting. So we go to like green and then put some black in it. And then we say, we call this dark green and hit enter. So now it's added this dark green color. So we, we copied, we took something to work with originally and we made a dark green color. And it's a CMYK color, whereas this green's like an RGB color. So if we hover over, this is like zero red, 255 green, and zero blue. So depending on your type of printing, and you might need to do some reading up. I'm, it's kind of outside the scope of this video, but the, there's different color, the different printing processes. So printers use different color inks to mix to create colors, and screens use like lighting up pixels to different brightnesses and mixing, running different voltages through them and stuff. So there's different types, but if the, this little square here shows you that it's a different type, and the three lines is like RGB, and the different squares here is um, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, uh, or inten yeah, intensity of black. Also, there's presets for these colors. So now that we added that dark green, I guess I'll show you first. We can go in and make this text dark green now because it appears on our in our in our colors, and also we can remove colors that way. But that's how you add in new colors. And the reason that, the reason that's set up this way is because you don't necessarily want to have thousands of different colors in your document because you want to always have a consistent feel. So your text is always a certain color. Also, if we wanted to change this green, we can come into our colors. And we can actually double click on it and maybe change that. So we can say that this actually, we wanted it to be something different. We want it to be more like a lighter yellow and say, okay. And then when we go, okay, 
it'll change every color in our document that was that green to a different color. The reason this is important is sometimes when you go to a printer, one of your colors that you thought was like a deep, uh, like or like a bright purple, might actually be like not quite so purple. It might actually be more like a reddish color when it actually prints. So it looked purple on your screen because of your monitor or because of the lighting you were using, but when it actually prints, it's like a red. So they could go in and be like, or they could ask you to go in and say, hey, change your, change your color. If you want this, a nice purple color, we'll tell you how to do it. Oops, so you gotta go to your colors and we'll just, we'll tell you what to type in. You know, make it 35% cyan and make it 91% uh, magenta. So they'll give you like the, basically the preset you need to make that color and then you can just say okay and even if it doesn't look good on your screen at least you know that it, how it will look out printed and they have printed cards that sometimes they'll mail out to you where you can see at the different uh, print look places they'll give you a card with some certain colors anyway uh, what else do I can say okay in this color so under here under colors and fills we can also so we can edit our gradients as well we can add different uh, gradients if we want but we can do different presets so we're using Scrib Scribus Basic as our preset, but we can add in some different ones here. So there's all these different presets of colors. And I'm actually not sure where all these come from, but like uh, there's like a Creative Commons 2013 that has all these different colors. So different colors that we can choose from. So just know and kind of play around with this. Know that there's some different colors that we can, we can grab in some different presets. This oxygen is probably gonna be like lots of blues and grays. Uh, okay, and so if we say that, now we, now we do have a lot of different colors that we can choose from and change. But again, you only want to use the colors. And when you go to print, you can actually go to here, go to colors and fills, and you can say somewhere, you can say remove unused. And so now, it, from all the, those colors we had, it looks at our document, and it only uses the colors that we're actually using in our document, because we said, we said remove unused. One more thing I want to show you about color, though, is that there's a cool tool under, is it, I forget exactly where it is, extras? I thought it was extras. Yeah, go to extras and go to color wheel. And there's this cool tool that helps you come up with good colors. So if you want to do, you can do this like monochromatic, and you can just choose a color, and it shows some complementary colors to the color you've chosen. And there's diff different methods here. We've got analogous. We've got some different, like, I don't know what all these are but they do it differently. So if we want to choose a blue color, it's like, hey, this red and this green might go well with that blue that you chose. So it does that. Also, we can preview. So if we have a nice, we have these different four colors here, and we can adjust these two to different, can't we adjust these? Um, oh, the angle, we can adjust the angle right here. And we can change like the angle and kind of choose a nice color scheme. But if we want to say, what is this going to look like for someone who's colorblind? It grays them out. So if ever you have a couple colors that are very, if we ever choose two here that are, like these two look a lot alike to a colorblind person, even though to, a, a, to someone who's not colorblind, they see, yeah, that's like a blue and a purple, but colorblind or someone who's only partially colorblind, like they can't see reds very well. So you can kind of preview, you can kind of run through some different scenarios and see how your, print, your printed uh, colors are gonna look. And then it tells you the codes. If you wanna recreate these colors, it kind of tells you the different codes over here for recreating them in red, green, blue, um, and some different things, uh, CMYK. And yeah, or actually down here is where it tells you, this box here tells you this greenish color is going to be um, 170-0, in CMYK. So that's just kind of a quick introduction, I guess, to using colors in Scribus and adding and getting your own colors. But just know it's not, you know, you're not just gonna wanna go kinda just choose some random colors for every different page. You wanna thoughtfully choose what colors you're using in your document and then always consistently use uh, those colors throughout every page and every uh, different part of your document. Hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you in the next video.